Exactly. Deflecting is one way. So you have two types of types of defending which you can do with the weapon. You can either. I need a volunteer. Anyone? Yeah. All right. Please come up. What's your name? Jasper. Jasper, give him a warm applause for Jasper. First of all, you need to know something. Be very, very careful. I'm going to give you the sword. And what I want you to do is this. I'm not going to hit you because you're on my side. I want you to try to hit me in my face. Exactly the same speed I'm going with. Yeah, exactly like this. Very careful. I am going to use my mic. All right. <laughs> All right, so one of the big three things you see from here is oh, Do you actually think this is a real possible defense? No. I, I can trust you, thank you very much. I can, I can assure you, I can assure you, this is not how you're supposed to block your weapon. Uh, thank you, Osper. Uh, Baha, if you can join the stage, please. So I was talking about blocking a weapon. If you can use the doubt, please. Mahan is going to strike me once, and I'm going to show you a block, and I'm going to show you a, a, a deflection. First, I'm going to show you a deflection. He would actually strike me. It's a deflection. So, what I do is, I, I use very little force to change the direction of where the sword is going. The thing about the chen is, because it's so light and it's double-edged, after he actually hits me, I can... I can use my wrist to straight away attack him. So it's blocked attack. What he can also do is he can use a slashing movement. And I can block it like this. This is what is an actual block. The chen, however, is not a weapon you, you will commonly see used for blocking. It's it's uh it's also called a very elegant weapon. It's called the master of swords. And that's for a reason, because to master this type of weapon. It's actually probably the hardest types of weapon to actually master it. Because everything you do comes from the wrist. Everything you do comes from the wrist. Alright, that's about the Chen. The next up is the Dao. Alright, so the difference between the Dao and the Chen is, as you can see, it's a, lit, a little bit wider. It's, it's bigger, it's a bit heavier as well. And uh, just like the Chen, it also has two parts, the lower part and the upper part. So the lower part is a lot thicker, and if you compare it to the Chen, it's also a lot wider. So the bottom part is actually, it's easier to block. It's, it can actually withstand the power if you would block something. Now, the top of the blade, you see it's a one-sided edge. That means you can only cut one direction. You can only cut one direction. See, I'm actually changing the way the sword is moving. So I, I, if I do this, <laughs> if I actually hit someone, it, it's going to hurt him a bit. It's not going to cut him. So what, what's the difference between, between the Chen and the Dao? Well, one thing is, what I already showed you, uh, the Chen is mostly a stabbing weapon or a cutting weapon. With the Chen. You actually never see it because you'll never cut something. Because you'll never cut something. Now, if I take the Dao, for example, this is what makes the Dao the saber. Cutting movements. Cutting movements. Cutting. So, for my next, for my next trick, I want another volunteer. Anyone? Anyone? All right. You, sir. What's your name? Hassan. Hassan, welcome. Give a warm applause for Hassan, please. Uh, if you can stand a little bit to the back. All right, Pawan is going to show you a movement, and he's going to show you a striking movement. If you, if you can take a little bit, take back. He's striking. See, he's making some noise. What I want you to do, uh, Hassan, I want you to make a striking movement. Be very careful and make sure you hold the grip firm. And try to make that sound as well, if you can. That's really good. Try to make a little bit more thrust. Bahan, can you show it once more? <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> Come on, Hossa, you can do it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give a warm applause for Hossa. Put, if he were to uh, give me a slashing attack, I would actually block it and I would straight away attack him. I didn't even use my body because everything came from my wrist. You would, I would cut his throat straight away. The thing is, these fights usually don't take very long. So that's a little bit about the, about the swords. Uh, the swords. And because of its length, that's also the strength. That's what makes it so ferocious as well. Because it, it's, uh, weapons are an extension of your arm. So if you were to fight someone and you had an, a, an advantage in distance, generally you would win. Um, as you can see, the, <laughs> the spear is something you use and kill some. Uh, the spear would get slippery. And what does it mean? If the blood would flow all the way to his arms, it would mean he would have actually less control over his spear. Because if you can see, all his power comes from both his hands. If he cannot control the spear, he has no weapon pretty much. Oh, you're getting awfully close. <laughs> all right, so. Um, that was one movement. Uh, for the next thing, I want to have a brave spirit going. We're gonna try to confuse you. Try to look at the spear. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Mohammed. All right, before you go, before you go, um, Wiley, do you, <laughs> do you, um, what, what was going through your mind when you saw the spear? I was confused. You were confused? <laughs> oh, that's I, mean, well, I was afraid, I was scared, and I was confused. Alright, because that's very good, because uh, thank you very much, you can go ahead and give it. Uh, before you do that, Chuming, one second please. Before you actually see people in, in movies, um, you see people use all these big movements, spinning, jumping. Um, do you have space to do some of some crazy jumps and uh, movements? No, uh, we actually don't have space. Anyway, these three basic movements within, within the spare techniques, are so essential. Shuming, if you could do Pao Hun Chun, please. Pao Hun Chun. Again. Pao Hun Chun. Again, slowly, slowly, please. Pao Hun Chun. All right. We're gonna go only to the Pao now. If you, if you could do that, for I'm gonna show you the example. What, what he's actually doing here? Don't, don't hurt me, please. <laughs> He's actually going to try to hit my hand while I have the sword. So if you can do that again. Bam. He's, he's hitting that away. He's hitting that away. So a, 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 a second type of movement is the hoon. I'm actually going to use the stick because it's easier. All right. And the hoon is, if I actually were to stab him, he would actually get rid of it. And the last movement, don't hit me, <laughs> is the stab movement. The most important movement there is. This is... Uh, this is a, I, I really like this weapon, this is not nunchucks. Um, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the three-sectional staff. So the three-sectional staff um, can be, it's very versatile. It has three parts, as you can see, the body. As you can see here, Pauhan is using his left and right arm to extend it and pretty much use it at a single stick. So he's pretty much using these movements. Okay, so what makes this, what makes this weapon very special? You can extend it. If you actually extend it, it becomes longer, as you can see here. So it can actually, <laughs> thank you. But what happens? It can can even it can even go even longer. It becomes a very long. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a, a small movement. Um, for to strike him from above would be like this. If someone would come to you with any weapon which I have here. The sword, the spear, he would be able to block it. So one of the great characteristics of the three-sectional staff is if you were actually supposed you were to do the same movement but only with the three-sectional staff. I'm actually gonna show you like this, because otherwise my face is gonna get hit. If you would actually slowly as you can see the, the last part of the weapon actually extends. If I would actually keep it here, I'm not gonna do that. It would actually hit my face. All right, so uh, explain how to do it. And in the meanwhile, 
All right, Jasper. Before you, Jasper. Before you do it, um, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about the weapon. Before you do this, before you do this, so wait a little bit. So we we were talking about the strengths and the weaknesses of these weapons. <laughs> make sure you make sure you. Uh, all right. Before we do it, let's give a warm applause one more time. You can do it, Jasper. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, Almost. <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually really good. <laughs> Alright, one last try. Come on, Jasper, you can do it. Oh, that's very impressive, uh, Oscar. <laughs>